Hey guys, I am Nikki of Nikki and Eric, and today we have a very special treat for you. We are gonna show you a million dollar rehab. And what makes this one so special is it's gonna be our forever house. So we are definitely putting all the blood, sweat, and tears literally into this one. As always, if you find value in this video or if you just like following us along, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and come back because this is part one of I don't know how many parts, but there'll definitely be more on this house. TikTok, you might have seen this video, this house on there, is one of our first ones that we did. This project has taken a really long time. We bought it about a year ago. You would think, you do this for a living, you rehab houses, you build houses, this should be a cakewalk for you. Yes and no. There's not a ton of money, like profit, in this deal because it's our personal house. So unfortunately, it has taken a back seat. Also, we have found that we have fancy taste and the rehab cost is gonna be $800,000 or so. So we're definitely having to put a lot of our own money into this deal. But overall, when we're done, this property will be worth, we're thinking 1.2, maybe $1.3 million. This is five acres. The back part of it is wooded. The front part is very clear. And it is actually on a main drag. It's on the road, Murfreesboro Road here in Tennessee. It is out in the rural part of the country, but we're off of a main drag. You'll see some cars going by here, but it's set back far enough that it doesn't feel like you are on a main drag. This is it. There's five acres next to us. We're trying to buy that too. We'll keep you updated on that. But let's go inside and let's do a tour of our million dollar makeover. My notes, all the California people moving here. It is humid. It's so humid. You walk outside and like your glasses fog up, you're sweating. Here we are. This is the foyer. The plan was to rehab this house, but basically it's going to be new construction. Everything is brand new here. The plumbing, the electrical, the wood, everything. I want to keep this floor though. This is the only thing original to the house that we can keep. So can you please like put a comment down here and say, Eric, Please let Nikki keep this floor. It's really cool. Anyways, here's our foyer floor. This big door entry right here is gonna have iron doors, which is really cool. You're gonna walk in to the living space right here, straight out the backyard. It's this way. And right here, we're also gonna have some of those iron doors again, but they are accordion doors. So we will access it through here and then we'll be able to pull open the doors all the way, they'll all fold into here and it will be an extension of the living room. This will be our outdoor kitchen. So we're super excited about that and hopefully I can like push some of the cooking responsibilities onto Eric because he will have his own kitchen. So due to the extreme heat and humidity today, we're not gonna walk the backyard. There's a pole barn back here that we had built. There's actually a really old horse barn and our kids are very hopeful that we will get some horses. I'm still on the fence about that. There's also a pool that we have tried to save. We had so many pool guys out here looking at it, but we're just gonna have to fill it in and build a new one. But there will be a new pool out here. That porta potty, I'm actually a fan of it. I am a runner. You gotta have a porta potty. So we might just keep the porta potty out here. I don't know. I'm just kidding. We can't keep a porta potty. So the cool thing about a rehab is you have a shell that you have to work into. Of course, you can blow up the roof and add stuff and add square footage, but the heart of the home right here at the kitchen, living, dining space, it's kind of all established already. So this was the dining space, but it's really small and cramped. And I was like, one, we're like big people, like Eric's like seven foot tall and our kids are giants. So we don't fit in here. And then also like, this is just small in general for a dining space. So what we're gonna do is, this is gonna be open to the living area. We're gonna do built-ins all through here. So this will be like a little 
library. Maybe it'll encourage some reading. Over here, open to all of this, this is the kitchen. We'll have the two windows flanking where the stove will go. So we'll have a big gas stove with a, uh, a hood. And then right here will be a 15 foot island with a farmhouse sink. Because this is a farmhouse, you gotta have a farmhouse sink. We were gonna do this as like a, a sitting room, a morning room, but due to the dining room, lack of space over there, this is gonna be the dining room, which I think will be really cool. We're gonna keep this fireplace. And I think we're gonna keep the uh, actual brick color and not paint it, but we'll obviously clean it up. And we're gonna take this insert out. It's a wood burning fireplace. Eric wants to keep it wood burning. I'm not a fan of that because that smells bad. Well, it smells really good, but like I don't want my house to smell like that, you know? We're gonna put a big chandelier here and I want a big circle table because as you know, when you have children, everyone argues about who's sitting by who, or I don't wanna sit on the end. So if we have a big circle table, everyone is just facing each other. It doesn't matter who you sit by, that whole deal. So this is gonna be the dining room. right off the kitchen is our pantry. Now it was really important to me, and especially in a, a million dollar house, I think the higher end you go, you need to do a little bit more, is to have a working pantry. And basically what that just means is you have electric outlets in here. Sometimes people will put like a dishwasher or an additional sink, but I hate doing dishes, so I do not want two dishwashers in my house. So in here, we're gonna have some cabinetry, a whole bunch of shelves here, and outlets and stuff where I'll put like the toaster or the blender or the coffee maker. Then, this part, I'm still confused on. I don't know what in the world they use this room for, and I don't really know what we're gonna use this room for, but it is right off of the pool, and you'll see we have this really cool landing spot. We're gonna keep this brick here because it is pretty neat. So maybe this is like a pool catch-all room. I don't know, I'm not super sure what we're gonna do here. This will be our mud area coming in off of the garage, and we'll have shelving here with you know lockers and whatnot, and a little half bath and then over here you can see through the wall right now is the laundry room and it's going to be a pretty big laundry room because I don't like doing laundry so I want it to be nice and pretty and open and make me want to go in there but let's continue this way this is where it gets a little tricky here is a three-car garage so we shall park approximately no cars in here because the ceiling is actually really low. Garages now are made wider to fit cars. So I don't think any of our vehicles, maybe our sedan will fit in here. <laughs> so we just have a three car garage that we will work out in. I think this is an original treadmill from 1959. So we might keep it, I don't know. walk up the stairs backwards. If I fall, it's on camera, so laugh. Up here is, this was actually an add-on. So the original house was built in 1959, and then this was built in the 80s or so, and this room was grand. Oh my gosh, it was so grand. They had velvet curtains, red floral flooring, carpet up here, and this whole wall was a trophy case. This was like the man's room. So the people who owned this house, they had five daughters. So what we think was, this was like the dad's escape up here. So we came up here, there was a big uh, pool table and just, this was his man cave for sure. But this is gonna be though, is actually our podcast recording studio for the Relatable Runners over here. And this is gonna be my office. The pole barn in the back is Eric's and this is all mine. I don't know what we're gonna do with it yet, it's gonna be pretty and it's gonna be girly and I'm gonna love it. And look at these windows. Something else that is cool about a rehab versus a new construction. So on a second floor, at least here in Tennessee, this would never, ever, ever fly with how low this is. I think now they have to be like three feet tall or something. And then the windows have to have a stop on it just so you know no one falls out of it. But we're grandfathered into this because this was the existing window size. Um, so we're pretty excited about this huge window. And there's actually an even bigger one over there. So these windows are gonna be huge and massive and let in so much sunlight, which I am all about some natural sunlight. We're gonna go to the right wing of the house. It is over here. And here, this bedroom is actually an office. And what we have to do to pass codes is we have to wall up this closet. 
If a room has a closet, an office or a bedroom has a closet, it's considered a bedroom. If there were no closet though, that is an office and that doesn't count towards your bedroom count per your perk site. Does that make sense? Anyways, here's one bedroom, two bedrooms. These were actually existing. We had to, of course, tear it all down and put it back because the wood was rotted. But bedroom one, bedroom two, or office one, bedroom one, however you wanna look at it. These two bedrooms will have their own bath. That is pretty cool. Now, something that was really neat about this house originally was the tile in it. And it's so funny to me, like everything comes back in style, everything. So there was small little two inch hex, white hex tile everywhere. And this house was very, 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 very clean when we bought it. So the hex tile, like I put that in houses now when we designed them and I wanted to keep it. We unfortunately had to get rid of it, but I'm gonna come back in all the places that had that white hex tile and I'm putting it back there. So this bathroom is gonna have white hex tile. I'm not gonna cover it with carpet though, like they did. There'll be no carpet in the bathrooms here. We'll have double vanities, toilet, and a large stand-up shower. So that's all for over here. Let's go to the master. So here is the master. We might sleep in here, we might play football in here, we're not really sure, but I do know for sure this room is stupid big. I don't know if any other parents out there, but like the master bedroom is a main hangout for the family. So we'll have our bed, we'll have a little TV area in here. I'm gonna have something over here with a coffee maker so I can read in the mornings. And it's just, this is actually a gathering zone slash our bedroom. In here is the master bathroom. So I'm not sure if you've heard about this or not, but there is this new thing and it might not be new at all. It's just new to me, but it's called a wet room. From here to here, we're gonna have glass shower doors. This whole thing will be a glass door. Inside it though, oh gosh. <laughs> Inside it, we will have all these contraptions and sprayers spraying at every single angle you could imagine. But over here, also behind the glass door, we're gonna have a freestanding tub. You'll have your shower and your tub all behind the glass. So this is the wet room. Then we'll have my vanity over here, Eric's vanity over there. And honestly, you know what? I know this isn't kosher to talk about, but this is the poop room. We'll probably spend a lot of time there. Then we move into the master closet. Eric is bougie and he likes watches and a lot of clothes and all this stuff. I have a um, minimalistic attitude when it comes to clothing and I try to only keep 50 items of clothing. That's surprising to a lot of people, but like this area forward is gonna be Eric's and this little sliver back here, it's gonna be mine. I think really the most things I have is my running shoes. So I just want to have some shoe racks on here. But with clothing, I'm very minimalistic. I'll wear the same outfit all the time. If you find something you like, stick with it, right? Up here is the kids area. So back to the whole this was only perked for four bedrooms. They wanted a, whoo, out of breath, I had to go upstairs. So the girls really wanted a balcony, but we couldn't put two balconies on the house. That would be silly and very, very, very expensive because as we're finding out, balconies cost a lot of money. So what we did in here is you'll see there is a slight wall dividing us, but as we continue to walk down, it ends. So the girls' bedroom is really big, but it is divided. So they have this wall coming in. This side is Caroline's, this side is Avery's. They both get the balcony. Also with this being a rehab, we were able to do the windows that match the front windows back here. You'll see that you normally could not do on a normal new build. And you can see the balcony. We're not sure how this balcony is gonna work out. And we've never ever done a balcony on any house ever. This is a learning experience for us, for sure. Now the girls very much wanted some large closets. They got some big plans for closet one and over there closet two. This is going to be, let me make sure I get the terminology correct. Oh, I don't even remember. They have some name. They're calling this area up here. It's like the game room, but you can't say game room because you're gonna play like video games and not board games because they're not boring people. 
just what they've told me. Anyways, this is the, the kids' media room they're doing up here. And there's no windows into it, so it will be a really good media room because there will be no external light coming in besides the lights that we put in. Behind us over here is the girls' bathroom. Again, when you're a parent, you cater your lives basically around your kids. And this is kind of a smaller bathroom space, but the girls really wanted their own sinks. So I was, okay, you can have your own sink, but you'll have zero counter space. They'll learn that they made the wrong decision eventually. This is the boys' room. This is Christian's room, and it's pretty big, but this is his closet, and this closet is my closet. <laughs> I'm going to keep Christmas decorations and, you know, just Halloween stuff up here, but also something we did not think about, which, like, I know we do this for a living, but literally every single day we run into a new problem that we have to figure out how in the world we're going to make it work. So we downstairs took off all of the, you know, we followed the roof line up. So there was nowhere for our HVAC to go. So that's been interesting trying to figure out how we're going to run HVAC. Because also when this house was built in 1959, the crawl space is about this big, like literally this big. So <laughs> we've had a few people out here to get under the house and like they've had to send their smallest guy and he's like army crawling underneath the house. So we can't even run our HVAC lines under the house. We can on the master where we added because we built it up a little bit, but we cannot run HVAC under the house. So we're having to run it on top of the house or in the ceiling or somewhere. I don't know, but this is going to be basically an HVAC room where we have a bunch of chases coming in that are going to go to all the different angles. So building a house isn't always just like, oh, this closet, I'm going to put this here. Like I didn't think I'd have to find a closet of where in the world I was going to put HVAC chases. So this is the HVAC chase closet and Christmas closet. So guys, that is the tour of our million dollar rehab. That is extra special because it is for us. And hopefully this is our forever house. Also stay tuned. I'm gonna let y'all know if Eric lets me keep this for your floor or not. I'm hoping he does. Oh, I'm really hoping he does. And honestly, he doesn't care. It's just, it's kind of uneven with the other flooring. So like logistically, it might not work to keep it. He doesn't care if we keep it. We just don't know if it'll work. But follow along. We are hopefully gonna finish this soon. Uh, stay tuned, say a prayer for us while we uh, finish this one. If you found value in this one, or if you're just super curious on how it's gonna turn out, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow along on this journey. Also follow us on TikTok and Instagram. I always post our pretty much daily updates of the farmhouse.